Greetings. This is Brian Walko, Principal Geologist at Earth Extractions. Some of you have been asking me, uh, how do you collect, go prospecting for fluorescent minerals? You probably saw my post on some of my hauls that I've brought back at nighttime. And I'm gonna give you a little uh, tour this evening. A couple things you need to know to get prepared for it. Obviously, the first thing you need is a good, portable, sturdy, ultraviolet lamp. I use a way too cool 18 water. It's DC, powered by a, um, it's a jump start battery. Lithium powered, gives me about two hours. Continuous, I can stretch it to almost three and a half on and off. Another thing that I use is a way too cool LED flashlight. This one will throw a beam of about 10 feet. It's good for going back and forth. It also uh, is uh, long wave only. So you're only gonna hit the long wave minerals, but it's a good, good handy uh, uh, prospecting tool at a distance. A Couple other things you need to do is always go with a partner or, th or have three people. Uh, going by yourself, you're, it's extremely dangerous, as you'll see uh, when we head up there. So bring a friend along and somebody who's competent in the back country, and also somebody who knows how to use one of these. Because right now we're in early, uh, early April. The bears are starting to come out. It's pitch dark up there. Even though we do run uh, uh, tactical LED flashlights that can light up, uh, you have a chance of running into a bear. Mountain lions will be perched above and they'll come down on top of you. So I always scan ahead of me. And then you're constantly switching back between regular lighting and ultraviolet lighting to, uh, to go looking for it. A couple other things that I would recommend is explore your area first in the daytime so you're very very familiar with where it is and also possible escape routes in case there is uh, a bear you may have to go around it also you want to make sure there's no mine shafts you fall in and i bring a gps along because that's where i'll mark it in the daytime and also at night when i find uh anything of significance i'll put a put a waypoint on my gps and then it gets logged into the computer <clears throat> couple other things that are handy. The district that I'm heading in is the uh, Central Mining District in Boulder County, Colorado. Elevation about 8,500 feet. It's uh, kind of fluoride, uranium, gold area. So with the uranium the, and the uranium ores, I bring along a little portable uh, synth, uh, Geiger counter. Just lets me know when I'm in a hot spot. I keep it in there and I think uh, we might, well, we'll definitely find something. It's just a matter of a, will it fluoresce or will it just stay there? Because I'm not taking back anything hot that doesn't glow. And of course, my trusty rock hammer. And I just added to my repertoire this year is a, uh, 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 whatever these are, some type of latex free gloves because you're handling radioactive material. There's no place to wash your hands up there and you don't want this stuff to get inside of you. That's the, the main danger. Otherwise, it's relatively safe. You may get the dose of one x-ray going up. So we're going to head on up, take a look at things and uh, see what we come up with this evening. Thank you. Greetings from the Central Mining District here in beautiful Boulder County, Colorado. We're up here about 8,500 feet. As you can see, it's getting dark, and the mission is to go hunt for uranium ore. Well, slightly elevated than normal, but no indication up here. We just got done walking a stretch, nothing but bioluminescence. Let's see. We are up here in the snow and it is getting dark. And the trusty forerunner putting our life in. Alright, we're moving along and there is not much to prospect here. As you can see, we have a big snowbank. So we will uh, Go to the next spot and check out an, an abandoned mine. Does that work for you? Yep. All right. Hiking along the uh, Geiger counter 
we hit it set off the alarm at 0.33 we now have a pile of what looks like uh, uh, fluorite intermixed probably with some pitch blend got uh, 8.1 uh, millisieverts so yeah it's hot unfortunately this stuff does not fluoresce so it's no good for anything other than hey we found some uranium we did find some fluorite long wave fluorescence unfortunately you know we're looking for our specimen quality these are only about an inch to uh, inch and a half so they're not really worth picking up but uh, it is kind of fun to find it especially when the whole ground is is glowing like this and this is long wave also if you hear in the distance my Geiger counter is still going off at a threshold of a point uh, three three that uh, I have it set at so it was mission successful Unfortunately, to get the really good stuff, uh, I don't feel comfortable doing it at nighttime. I know what the crystal structure looks like in the day, and we'll come back another time. And on the way down the trail, we have a visitor. There's an elk somewhere around here, relatively fresh. Uh, I hope we don't run into him or her, but uh, nice pile of droppings, I'm sure the elk does know that it's uh, eating uh, radioactive material but maybe it will glow in the dark and let us know and this is what i need for next time professional quality rock drill blast the heck out of the side of the mountain and i'm going to move some earth and i'm going to get some uranium